You want to go work on the beagle barge? Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. <sighs> Well, let's go. You driving or me? Well, hey guys, Backwaters and Backroads here. Yeah, so came over to the marina today, and Wavy and I are gonna hopefully gut the interior of the Beagle Barge today. I figure it shouldn't take too long. I'll just uh, pull out these benches and stuff, and let's see what kind of room we have to work with. So I'll get to that and stay tuned. So it's the first time looking under this bench here. Looks like we got left with some goodies. We got butane cartridges, little propane stove, a little one burner stove, some brand new tarps. Every boat I ever buy comes with <laughs> the full stockings of everything. So I am busting at the seams in my life. I need to have a big marine yard sale. What in the world is this? Trans warning light? A warning light. Looks like it's the original. gas stove cool all right we got the first bench out that wasn't too hard definitely gonna put a new floor in it's starting to open up in here all right bench number two out it's opening up just a little more All right guys, so I spent a couple hours tearing the interior out of the Beagle Barge here. How about we go walk around inside and you can see just how spacious this, sp spacious the space is. <laughs> okay. Those stairs right there are a death trap. Gotta fix that ASAP. And I still have to pull that out too. Looks like I inherited another set of utensils and some coffee cups and, oh boy. So, pulling down these god awful Venetian blinds. I got a plan for that. I'm gonna leave that table in here as a workspace for now. But uh, I think I'm going to... Okay, so I've decided after all the feedback I got from you guys in the last video on the Beagle Barge, which I very much appreciate, I think I'm going to leave this wall, at least for now, um, and just have this space here um, for something. Storage or maybe, you know, to use a bucket for bathroom or something. But I don't think I need to pull this, this wall out because we've got tons of space in here, guys. Let me step up on this... And you can see, I mean, shoot, plenty of space. 
So I think my question this time is for you guys, if, you're, if you care and you want to comment below, um, you got an opinion. Um, okay, let me show you this. So uh, I'll turn the phone around because I think it gets a better view of it. So it's got these half walls that have this this print, which, I mean, there's worse. I mean, I like it, but what I like more usually is tongue and groove cedar or knotty pine, you know, kind of like what I did to the shanty beagle, you know, a couple years ago. Uh, and what I'm doing to my tiny house on the beach and, you know, pretty much any little living space that I'm, I'm in, I usually try to like kind of have it that Northwoods cabin feel with the, with the tongue and groove stuff. It just has a good feeling to it. Um, at least it does to me, but you know, that would mean I'd either have to tear this out or I could just panel, panel over it, maybe down to here. And then I was thinking maybe I have this recycled, reclaimed corrugated metal, the old stuff from like the 1950s and 60s with the really tight, uh, ridges that people usually make art with and stuff like that. And I've got a ton of that, and I was thinking about maybe ma like doing a wainscoting up to the, up to that piece of trim there. So it'd be this corrugated kind of rusty tin up to there, and then cedar or knotty pine for the rest of it. And these walls actually don't have a lot of surface space to cover because you know it has so much window, which I'm I'm glad. Um, so. Yeah, and as far as the ceiling, um, I pr uh, you know, it's going to be a couple things down on the priority list here, but I've thought, I mean, I'm not a big fan of this, like, office space, you know, drop ceiling stuff. I just doesn't fit the motif of this boat in general, in my opinion. So I've thought about tearing it out, you know, and this the roof of this boat has, you know, it has a peak, right? It has a pitch to it. And maybe making like a loft ceiling with some insulation and then more of whatever I put on the walls, knotty pine or whatever, you know, for the ceiling. To kind of have an arched, um, high, higher ceiling. Or pull this out and make it a flat ceiling like it is now, but just do it in knotty pine also. So, or I guess paint it if I'm on a serious, you know, super budget here. And just leave it alone for now. Or just leave it for now, I guess. But, uh... That's kind of what I'm thinking about as far as the interior. And I'm going to turn the phone around, talk to you again for a minute. So as far as what is going to be inside the boat here, you know, I was, I was really happy with how the Shanty Beagle was laid out. It had, it had everything we needed. And when I say we, me and my dog, um, had a comfortable place to sit, you know, two of them, if we had company, um, or I wanted to just have variety, move across the other side of the room and sit in another spot. Had a little kitchenette with a couple of burners, um, plenty of storage for just the things that, you know, that, that I had around. Uh, and that couch that pulled out into a bed, like a single person bed, got the job done. It wasn't the most comfortable bed I ever had, but it certainly wasn't the worst. And so I thought about, um, here, I'll turn the phone around again. So I thought about getting like a bigger, longer couch that's a fold-out hide-a-bed uh, and put it, you know, like here or maybe up against that wall in the corner there. And then when it's bedtime, just pull it out, you know, and it comes out to here, whatever, sleep. And then in the morning, um, stuff all the blankets away and stuff and put make it turn into a couch again. It is always nice to have a, a bed that never has to be, you know, moved around and made every day, but... That especially applies with the type that's like half of it's here and half of it's here and it blocks your walkway. So if I got the right hideaway type couch, you know, it would still leave me plenty of room to walk around it and out the back door. So, uh, you know, and as far as just folding it up every morning, that takes about, you know, two or three minutes. So it's not a really a big deal. Um, and then like a little kitchenette. Now, I, I don't think I'm going to put it there like the former owners or the builder of this boat had because to me that, you know, that's where the passenger rides and you know, that's where your first mate rides, you know, you're driving the boat and then 
if you do have a passenger, you know, or a guest, they sit there and they can look out the window and, you know, see forward like, like the captain is. So I'll probably just have this, you know, open space with another helm chair, but it leaves all this space. So maybe, you know, a kitchenette right here with counter space, looking out those windows when you're cooking. Um, I do have to leave some space. I, I'm, I'm going to put a small wood stove in here also, and I got to think about where that would best fit. So I'll just stand back here again, guys. So when anyone that's paying attention wants to weigh in on this, you know, you can get an idea of the space that we're working with. So, you know, it's basically just a big room. That's probably about, well, it's definitely eight and a half feet wide, but it's probably, let me take a guess here. Probably, uh, let's see, six, 12, I don't know, 15, 15 or 16 feet. Does that sound about right? Maybe, maybe more, maybe 18 feet. But let, let's just say it's uh, it's eight and a half by 16 is the space that we're working with here. I'll, I'll get a measurement on it pretty soon and, you know, get finalize that. But uh, yeah, guys, I think that's, uh, that's all we're going to do today. So I'm going to take this stuff out to my deer camp, the stuff I want to save for the interior of this, which is probably going to go in the, in the Beagle bus. So, okay, guys, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you again soon. You want to go run around? You want to go run around? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness, are you doing your little dance? Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> go! And then she stops to sniff everything and pee on everything. <laughs>